Good morning. Welcome back to my kitchen. I uh, decided that I'd put on the, uh, the old Tiger King Muay Thai shorts for y'all. Figured that'd be appropriate. We're going to go over a seven minute shadow boxing routine today. Um, it's going to be very straightforward, very simple. Um, and we're going to start with a one strike, go into two strike combinations and then end up with three strike combinations. We're going to include some movements that will simulate um, throwing roundhouse kicks without actually throwing a roundhouse kick. Um, in small spaces, it's really difficult to do a full uh, roundhouse kick where you put enough momentum into it that it'll swing you all the way around. So we'll use components of it um, that'll still help. So first minute is going to be jabs, just jabs. So get into your fight stance. Um, I happen to be south paw by nature, so it's going to be right leg forward for me. Um, hands up, protect your face at all times, and just start out nice and slow. Remember, elbow stays in, punch comes straight out and straight back. Once you feel comfortable with it, you can put a little snap on it. And that's the first minute, just jabs. Get to it. Okay, next exercise is gonna be two minutes. Um, we're going to incorporate some footwork into our shadow boxing, uh, going uh, in a linear motion, straight forward and straight back, um, which is the best option for tight spaces. And it's going to look like this. It's going to be jabs while you're stepping forward. So step forward with the jab, step, and then after two, you throw one, two, and then step backward with the jab twice, jab, jab, and then three, two. All right, so we're going to do two minutes of that. Um, make sure that you focus on a, a good pivot and get the, get the hips involved when you throw a three and a two. Um, make sure that you keep your hands to your face and return them to your face after you throw the punch. And when you take your steps forward, you want to widen your stance and then shorten it. Widen, shorten, right? Widen, shorten, widen, shorten. And don't leave your rear foot behind when you're moving. All right, next minute we're going to add some kicks. Uh, more of a kicking motion than a full kick because we're simulating uh, the pivot that we do when we perform roundhouse kicks. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, because we're in a tight space, I don't wanna kick my fridge and I don't wanna kick my dishwasher. So um, it's gonna be a one punch, one kick combination, very simple. One, 10, and two, switch, nine, the things that you can work on as far as the kicks go is uh, opening up that hip by pivoting your front foot, right? So jab, pivot, and then you can stop yourself by hitting the, your toe touching the ground, return back to fight stance. And then for the switch kick, two, switch, and then pivot, and then back to fight stance. So that's the next minute. One, 10, back to fight stance. Two, switch nine, back to fight stance. One, ten, two, switch, nine. One, ten, two, switch, nine. For one minute. Okay, next round is knees and elbows. I want you to focus on throwing a strike with one knee and then following it up with a cross elbow on the other side. So if it's a rear knee, cross with your lead elbow. If it is a switch knee, you come back down into your fight stance and throw a cross elbow with your rear elbow, right? So that's the next round. Uh, pretty simple, one minute, rear knee, lead elbow, switch knee, rear elbow. One minute. All right, now we're gonna put it all together and do some three strike combinations. Uh, we start out with a single strike, just a jab. We moved into two strike combinations, one punch, one kick, or knee and elbow. Now we're going to have uh, three strike combinations that you can do kind of in a linear fashion, um, given the kind of limited space that we have in our kitchen. So it's gonna be uh, two, three, 10, one, two, nine, uh, six, three, rear knee, and then five, two, switch knee. So we're gonna go two, three, ten, one, two, switch, nine, six, three, rear knee, and 
five, two, switch knee, then reset. Two, three, ten. One, two, switch nine. Six, three, good knee. Five, two, switch knee. Two minutes. Rotate through those combinations. All right, you made it. That's a seven minute uh, in your kitchen shadow box routine. Um, I want you to finish with one minute of burpees with a push up. We're going to add a little twist to it. We'll do a one, two, one, two, and then a burpee with a push up. That'll be your last minute. Um, three rounds of that, uh, and I think you have a really good uh, shadow boxing workout. So we're going to end with a minute of my favorite exercise burpees. But one, two, one, two. Burpee with a push up. One, two, one, two. Get after it, everybody. Have a good day. See ya.